So first of all, understanding cigar butts. Okay, cigar butts. So good news for the smoker, especially when you are passionate about it. Uh, there is a application in investment as well, right? So this is what uh, Buffett described in 1989, the uh, Berkshire shareholders uh, meeting, and uh, it is in response to one of the shareholder who asked, "Why is it that you know Berkshire Hathaway doesn't buy cigar butt anymore?" And this is his reply. Uh, and following this, what he said was that because most of this cigar butt, and you can say almost, almost close to 100%, most of this cigar butt, they are so tiny that even if I were to achieve 30 or 50% return on this particular stocks, it, will, it wouldn't make a dent on the result of Berkshire because the size of Berkshire's uh, asset size uh, is in terms of billions and billions of dollars. So if they were to invest in a stock that is worth only 21 million, for example, they can buy up the whole company and the whole company and make 100% return, it will not even make a dent on the result. And that's why the strategy changed, right? We're going to see how different it is when I go to bagging an elephant in a short while. So the strategy, if you can think about it, is very simple. There is one formula involved towards understanding this. And the formula is very simple. If you can take all of the current assets that's available in the company and use it to pay off all of the company's liability, and then if you were to compare it against the market cap. Now, market cap, as you know, is simply share price multiplied by the outstanding number of shares. So the market cap is a market pricing, all right? On a day-to-day -day basis, market cap is Mr. Market. It goes up and down according to the share price. So if we were to compare this, now think about this, current assets, they are very liquid. Of course, every single company has got current assets. They have also got long-term assets. They have also got land, maybe some intangibles like brand names, maybe even own the land that is, it is, uh, um, uh, its address is uh, uh, reflected, all right? And many of these long-term assets, as a deep value investor, I discount them. I kind of say that when I apply this formula, well, if it turns out that they own a lot of long-term assets, that is a bonus, right? When I buy in as a shareholder, I was assessing whether from a current assets perspective, if it's already attractive, all right? So that's where I'm going to show you how you can screen for such stocks. <laughs>